The work table in my office has a lot of space underneath for storage, but it is really ugly to look at. So I'm measuring the front of the desk, height and width. I'm laying out the foam board and I'm gonna cut it down. I'm using clear packing tape on both sides of the seams for a really strong hold. Now I wanna cover the front of this large piece with marble shelf liner. I'm leaving a bit of an overlap. Slowly pull the backing off the sticky shelf liner. I want to use some Velcro. Now I have a clean looking desk. Grab some decorative trim. Start with your first cut and then you're gonna measure the length of the TV. Give it another 45 degree cut. Once you get all four pieces cut, you gotta have glue. Put it right up next to it. Just mark out the holes. Once you pre-drill, the screws go in without a drill. We gotta build a box. That way we can cover the sides of the TV. We're gonna lay the frame on top. Just a few brad nails to hold it together. Now it's time for some gold paint, a little bit of Velcro on the TV. It just looks amazing. I've got an area on the side of my house that is just ugly with an old hose. Take the handles and put some tape over them. And you're just gonna poke through where the screws go in the handles. Peel the tape off and you can then transport the tape onto the side of the planter. This is where you're gonna drill the holes. Drill your holes and then you can pop the screws through. Use your hand to tighten them first. Once we got these holes drilled, turn it back over and we're gonna use some succulent potting soil. Transplant your succulents where we're gonna hide the hose. We need to drill a hole about halfway up. Put some wood in there. That's gonna hold this lid up. Get that garden hose through. Pull it all the way through and look at that. Go ahead and put your succulent tray right on top. Start with three cutting boards. So I'm just gonna give them a coat of milk paint. Now that the paint is dry, I'm going to take my sandpaper and I just wanna rough up the edge a little bit. I'm going to use some hemp oil and I'm just gonna rub this all over. So I'm gonna turn them over here. Once I have my hinges in place, it's time to add some screws to hold them and cover up this cluttered corner of my kitchen counter. You're gonna need two white cutting boards. Place E6000 on the sides. Place your white cutting boards vertically on either side. Add E6000 glue to three sides. Place these two cutting boards and then place a dowel through the handles. Your box is ready. Do is decide where we're gonna put our bowls. Mark it up here. You can go ahead and make your marks. And we're just gonna draw our circle. Put a hole close to the edge. I will get the spray pan. What we're gonna be using is this really cool reusable stencil. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I feel like we have our answer. I grabbed three empty soda containers from my home. I wanted to make this space much more organized, measure the dimensions inside. Once I got the table set up, I started using the tension rods to store my ribbon. I got to work on my soda boxes. Wrapped the boxes with fabric, applied hot glue with the glue gun, and then at the top, I just tucked it in. I thought these planters looked like a honeycomb. It was time to install the row of hooks that I'd bought. I hung the wire mesh cups, filling my honeycomb with supplies that I wanted to have easily on hand. And here it is. Everything's organized and I have it easily accessible. I went to Lowe's and picked up this large terracotta looking pot. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a light sand. I'm gonna go ahead and paint vertical stripes on this. I am just gonna use some leftover paint that I had from another project. Get the sides of this. I'm just gonna go around and dot the edges of my pot dry. We can go ahead and remove the tape. Painting the raw wood stripes white. I am just going to be using this Rust-Oleum matte clear coat. This project came out so good. I cannot get, wait to get out here and start gardening. Grab a pack of mesh laundry bags, plastic shower curtain rings, open up a shower ring, and push the plastic knob through a hole towards the top. Now for the bottom of the bag. You will need three metal rings and attach one more bag at the bottom. Clip the plastic rings to a bar in your closet. You can really put anything into these bags. So what I've got here is a pool noodle. So I'm gonna take some of the items, mark where the spot is, make a slit, flip the noodle over, make sure holder strips, peeling the backing off, press it on the wall. Here they are all hung up. Grab a metal cooling rack. You will need two screws. Go into your closet and get your rack in a straight line. Mark the corners of the rack. Screw your first screw in. Put your rack onto the screws. Fill your rack with sunglasses 
To start this project, I'm taking a broomstick. I'm taking the handle end off of the broom. I'm using my cotton rope and hot glue gun to tightly wrap around the rope on the entire broomstick. Next, I'm taking two crystal knobs for each end of my broomstick. I'm using my ribbon to weave in and out of the baskets. I am securing the ribbon with hot glue. Next, I'm using some clear zip ties to secure the baskets to the broomstick. I'm using a laser level to place and press in to secure them. I'm using these baskets for some of my yarn storage and it makes for a excellent budget-friendly organization project. To start this project, you're going to need some trash cans. Get this tag off of your trash can. For these trash cans, I have put on chalkboard stickers. I can add everybody's name. I can measure the width and the height. Pick out the right command hook and place the hook onto it. It's gonna fit nice and snug. I have our gloves and our hat stuck together for each family member. And then we place those into the bucket. So here's a look at them all hung up. You will need four plastic shower rings. Take one ring and loop it into one other. Clip a ring to the handle of your basket. Now bring this basket over to your closet. Clip the plastic ring onto a bar in your closet. My husband has a lot of hats and this is a perfect storage basket for all of them. Go to your local dollar store and grab a few glass candle holders. Take off any stickers that are on these jars and go and wash the jars. Take your lids outside and spray paint them. Let these dry and move on to the glass candle holders. Mix up some five minute epoxy. Dip your knob into it and center it onto the painted lid. Move on to the candle holders. Dip it and center it on the jar. You can really put anything into these that you want to, some Q-tips, smaller hair ties, and also cotton rounds. These apothecary jars will help you organize your bathroom items and look really cool. Yeah.